here with the horny goat, and I'm sitting here with JP Basement and Bobbit, and Heather is running around somewhere as well. She and... had to change Wendy's diaper. So awesome. All was. right. Well, we're gonna do night two, three, and four predictions for the G1 climax. Uh, so let's go get ahead and. I can't fucking talk. Let's go ahead and get right into it with Basement's favorite, the tag matches. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, everybody. So All the right, first so match night, of the night. What? Night two and three are tag matches? Uh, no, it, there's tag matches before every block gets into it. Yes. So we're going to start out the night, night two with a three-on-three match with uh let's see we've got yumera will osprey and kota abushi versus bushi sonata and evil so the losers are taking on the well evil lost too Mm -hmm. i think i'm going with uh bushi sonata and evil yeah i'm gonna go with los ingranobles Oh god, he's got it right this time. All right, Bob. I'm going with Will Osprey. You're a weirdo. And um, I am actually going to go with Will Osprey, Koto Bushi, and uh, Yumera as well. Yeah, actually, I'm going to switch immediately and go with them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why I'm? You know why I'm going with them though? With look at look at who Ibushi or look at who Kota Ibushi and Osprey have on their team. They have a young lion. Young Lions um, never win. Yeah, but the thing, the reason why I am going with that team is simply because Evil has been deserting LIJ lately. He's been walking away from him. Still going with him. I don't give a shit. All right. So moving on. <laughs> we'll have to get Heather's predictions when she gets back. She's um, back. Oh, is she? Heather, you got something? What's your match? Yuya, Yu- 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 Yuimura, Will Ospreay, Kota Ibushi versus Bushi, Sonata, and Evil. Evil. Yep, she's with me. All right. So the second match of the night, which is also twenty minute time limit, is oh god. Kanamaru. Uh, yep, Kanamaru and Lance Archer versus Chase Owens and Bad Luck Fale. I'm going with uh, Kanamaru and Lance Archer. I'm actually I'm going with JP on this one. Lance Archer really really impressed me the other night. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not even that. They got Chase Owens on there. He sucks. Exactly. Chase Owens is awful. <laughs> I got to go with Suzuki Gun for my boy, Marvin What, But also, <laughs> Bad Luck Folly is a, just, a, just a giant pile of cum. He, he's, he's just, he just, the only reason he's there is because he has a dojo. He's also like, a, I guess, like, you know, one of those just like big man wrestlers that don't really um, have too much of. He's New Japan's version of the Big Show. Um, he actually, he actually won his first. He won his first match. He beat. Yeah. I can't remember who he beat. Oh God, I don't remember either. It was just a few nights ago. How can we be so dense? But... It was one of the favorites too. It was Evil. Yeah, yeah, he beat Evil. That's what it was. Um, Bobbit, what do you got? Uh, I'll I'll go with. Uh... That chief strongbow guy. <laughs> you mean Kanamaru and yeah. fucking okay. okay. Uh, Yui fucking what was his last name? Yoshinobu Ka- Kanamaru. Kanamaru. Yeah, it's Yoshinobu Kanamaru. But all right, third match of the night. We've got Red. Red. Uh, this is JP's Red favorite. Nobita. I know how to fucking pronounce him. Just let me out. I said it's JP's favorite. <laughs> Ren Narita, Shota Umino, and Hiroshi Tanahashi versus uh, Carl Fredericks. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Clark Connors and Kenta. I'm going with Kenta on this one. Yeah, they're reintroducing him, so he's got to get a strong push right off the that so i'm going to Fred- as well carl fredericks and clark connors are with bad luck follies dojo okay okay that makes sense because i was going to say i didn't recognize them as like one of the young lion names 
At Within least if I remember lions. correctly. They are young lions, but... Yeah, but just they're by a buff collar. That's where they are. I think gotcha. they were in a match last week, too. Um, I'm actually going to go with Ren Narita, Shota Umino, and Hiroshi Tanahashi on this one, simply because um, night three coming up is Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Kenta, and I think Kenta is going to be the winner out of that match. Well, the interesting thing about these tag team matches is that like Lance Archer is probably taking on Chase Owens or Bad Luck Fale. Bad Luck Fale. So, so they're they're actually inner whoever they do it the right way. Yeah. So, like, they're they're intertwining. Well, yes, and that, they're intertwining their next their next match into a tag team. Yeah, so, and that's what I like about New Japan when they're t- with their tag teams because it's always yeah. it always has a purpose. Okay, so that in mind, because I didn't look at the future cards, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm definitely switching and going with Gina on this one with Hiroshi Tanahashi, uh, Ren Narita, and Shota. Okay, Bob it. Uh, Tanahashi. Okay, uh, I, I, as long as Kenta does not take, he won't the- get pinned. And he looks strong, then I would go with Tanahashi and them because I think it Kenta's gonna beat Tanahashi. Oh yeah, he has to. He's gonna have to. Uh, Heather, are you on the same boat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going with Tanahashi, but to help me out, if they fuck over Kenta, they fucking ruined him. I don't yeah. want to hear anything about. Oh my God, this is the biggest free agent signing in history. Well, you Shut know, the, the thing up. is... Kenta can lick thing, my ass anyway. <laughs> the thing is, so, like, I, I don't... I think that Kenta's going to beat Tanahashi, but even if he didn't, it's not like he's just losing to somebody that doesn't matter. Tanahashi's one of the top guys. He is their top guy. Yeah. But he can take... He, he Like, eventually, like, night the next night, he, he needs to take that pin. Oh, guys. Because God. they have to build Kenta. But, yeah, I agree. I, I'm, I'm, you know where I stand with this one. Okay. All right, so a fourth match, also 20-minute time limit. Yoshihashi and Kazuchika Okada versus Minoru Suzuki and Zack Sabre Jr. Fuck, why do they do this to me? (laughs) Oh, fucking, that's right, because Kazuchika Okada is wrestling Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, why do they do this to me? I'm going, fuck it. I I think that I'm going to go and... It's going to be the Suzuki gun, but Kazuchika Okada will not take the fall. It, it's going to be Yoshihashi who's going to take the fall. And then Kazuchika Okada is going to beat fucking Zack Sabre Jr. That bitch is going to be 0-2! Oh, and, and I'm going to be loving it. Oh, God. Basement? I mean, you know I absolutely love Zack Sabre Jr. <laughs> so... <laughs> No, that fucking Gumby ass, come guzzling son of a bitch. I, I'm going. I'm going with Suzuki Gun, man. Zack Saber Jr. and Minoru Suzuki. Okay. Yeah, Bobby. weird, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna. I gotta go with the Rainmaker. Okay, yeah, Heather. Picks. Go ahead, Heather. I gotta go with the Okada. I yeah. am actually going with Okada as well because I think that Zack Sabre Jr. is actually going to pull that night three victory off. You're fucking smoking dope. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, JP, mm-hmm. you know you mm-hmm. know me, okay? Suzuchiko Okada and Zack Sabre Jr. are two of my favorite, favorite people in New Japan. So this is impossible for me, okay? Impossible. Zack Sabre Jr. You, so what, so essentially what you're saying is you flipped a coin. <laughs> no, no, because the only reason why I think I, I, I just I don't know. I just have this feeling that they're gonna have uh, ZSJ beat Okada because why? Because there's really no reason why Okada needs to take that first victory. There's no reason that Zack Saber Jr. should ever beat Kazuchika Okada. He should never beat anybody. First. Right, but he should, <laughs> he oh my God. okay. Anybody. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Moving saying. On. I mean, I, I love Zack Saber Jr. Oh. and I love Suzuki Gun, and these motherfuckers make fun of me every night because of it. The Asshole, gangly arm, son of a bitch. I hope he just fucking loses every match he's ever in. I hate you. Don't worry, it'll take 25 minutes for him to lose. <laughs> All right, fifth match of the night. This one, the, this is we're getting into the B block tournament right now. 
This is the actual G1, and this is 30-minute time limits. So we have Juice Robinson up against Shingo Takagi. Takagi. Uh, I got, I, I, yeah, Takagi. I got uh, yeah, Juice. Juice is loose. <laughs> I'm going with Takagi. I'm, Takagi. I, I'm, I'm going with Shingo as well. He, Juice Robinson ain't beating him. No, <laughs> Shingo's Juice loose, baby. I love Juice, but Shingo is, oh, he's unstoppable. Juice Robinson, Juice Robinson can fuck off for all I care. I love Juice. He, he, he shaved his hair and lost all that excess weight from his dreadlocks. So I'm going with Juice, man. Juice got away with murder. So he's going to win this match. All right, Bob it. I'm going to go with the guy who has shingles. <laughs> shingles. He's going right. with Takagi. Okay. I can't believe I called him Takagi. I can't talk tonight. Heather. Shingo. Shingo. All right. So we've got everybody with Shingo except for Basement. Yeah. All right. Next match is John Moxley versus. Can we move on to the next match? Because I don't. <laughs> John Moxley versus uh, Tai Chi. Going with Dean Ambrose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Dean Ambrose as well, because that's what he is. The fucker. Look, here's the thing with John Moxley. Everybody says, "Why do you not like him?" He's Dean fucking Ambrose, and you can't tell me any fucking different. No, I think did I like Dean Ambrose? Ambrose? So the only thing that this guy can do that I've seen him do since he's left the WWE is. Take a body slam on attack. Who cares? I don't care about that shit. That's not, that's, I seen him do that shit in WWE. Show me something that this guy can actually fucking so, wrestle. The thing and then is, I'll fucking buy it. Yeah, the first, the thing is like, okay, he looks, he looks strong against Juice in New Japan, but the only reason he did was because Juice was, he was formerly a part of WWE, so he knows how to wrestle that style. However, his second match in New Japan, he looked horrible. Okay, I can't. Did he? Who, who did he wrestle? I can't remember. He wrestled a fucking young lion. Young lion, young lion yeah. yeah. And and like he was fake punching and everything, and it it was awful. It was WWE well, bullshit. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Tai Chi is one of their top stars, mm -hmm. he, and he better fucking bring it. He better not pull punch because I'm telling you right now. If he pulls punches in this fucking match, Tai Chi's going to beat the fuck out of him. Because mm -hmm. he's going to be like, you're going to fucking hit me or are you just going to fucking, you want me to squash you? So I, I, I think John Moxley or Dean Ambrose, whatever the fuck you want to call him, I, I don't know why. He, he, he's a pie-faced ass eater, man. Fuck him. I'm going to go with John, John Moxley because I'm looking at his name, but I call him Dean Ambrose. Just you're because it's it's him that, he, that there, everybody wants him because of where he came from, and you can't tell me any fucking different. Yeah, he, he's got a big fan base and a place that they want to grow in, so he's gonna win. I'm actually going against the grain, and I'm gonna say Tai Chi. Mark it. I I, I hope we're recording this shit because I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we are recording this shit, by the way. But Bob it. I'm going Tai Chi. Okay. Fuck, fuck Dean Ambrose. Heather? Heather? Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose. <laughs> I love how everybody's calling him Dean Ambrose. <laughs> well, that's what he is. Yeah, Unless yeah, there's a, until there's he shows a, like, us different. Exactly. Until he shows us different, he's Dean Ambrose for life. All right, so moving on. Uh, next match, we got Tor. Okay, this isn't even a fucking contest. Uh, Yano versus Naito. It depends on what story they're telling with Naito. I'm picking Naito to win this block. <laughs> you all know Naito is one of those guys where he's an arrogant... I wouldn't say lackadaisical, but he acts like he doesn't. It's his character. I'm not saying he yeah. don't. Everybody before anybody, oh, my God, JP fucking hates Naito. No, I fucking actually, I fucking love Naito. I love what they do with Naito. But with this character, what they're doing with him, he acts nonchalant. And it cost him a lot of matches. In fact, it cost him the fucking G1 last year. They were talking about it. So depending, and he looked really good in his last match that he was in. So depending on what they do with him, 
I honestly, what I think is going to happen, that Kota Ibushi and Naito are actually going to win their respective blocks. They're going to meet in the final because they're doing something with those two. Well, because beat the fuck out of each other if they did. Well, they've done wrestled. They've three. already done it. I know, but there's... Naito said it himself. When it comes to wrestling Ibushi, it reminds him of his school days and when they were boys. It's always so much fun. Right. But he, I think, if I remember correctly, didn't they tell a story? Didn't you say to me, Gina, that he said that he wanted to be the first Intercontinental and IWGP champion? Yes, and they've really been pushing that story lately on commentary, so I think that's where it's going. That's where they're going. Now... Again, remember who he's wrestling, Toru Yano. He's one of those, he's Otis. <laughs> the Asian Otis. Yeah. The Asian Otis besides Ta- T- Taguchi. But I, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Naito, but don't be surprised if Yano somehow wins. Well, you know, the thing is, um, Naito actually said in his after, like after uh, interview on, um, night one of the G1, he actually said that it's always a lot of fun to wrestle Yano, but he knows what kind of a match Yano brings, and Naito said it's not going to work this time. So, like, he knows that he has to watch out because, you know, Yano is the one that he always tries to pull the, the turnbuckle covers off and shit like that, so I'm going Naito. I mean, yeah, but just don't be surprised if Yano somehow pulls off a victory. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with Naito as well. I mean, I, I like, like, I, and I kind of I kind of think I've always liked, regardless of what promotion you're looking at, like, if, if like, I, your character flaw is the cause for a lot of things that have fucked you up, it's still a good character build. Like, I mean, yes. if you look at Naito, and you, yeah, it's his arrogance it's causing Ooh. costing him things. But uh, that outside of this, I mean, to me, Naito's a clear favorite. No, you know, the, the beautiful thing, the, the beautiful thing about Naito in general is his whole entire character tells a story because when Naito first came like onto the main roster, so to speak at, in new Japan, um, the fans hated him. Like he was trying to be the good guy and the fans hated him. So then he went to Mexico for a little while, learned the tranquilo style. And when he came back, he just said, fuck it, you know? And that's when he became this kind of arrogant, nonchalant, I don't care character. So mm-hmm. his character in itself tells an amazing story. Mm-hmm. I don't think his. I don't know if his hair is even real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Raggedy Ann here. But Bobbit. I'm going Naito. Okay. Another. Naito all the way. All right, everybody on board with Naito. All right, uh, eighth match of the night. We've got Tomohiro Ishii versus Jeff Cobb. This one's tough. Yes. I got my choice. I'm going with Matanza Cueto. <laughs> Jeff Cobb. He's uh, constantly kind of like overlooked where he's been. Yeah, he's had his opportunities, but he's a guy to me that's like brings a lot to the table that people don't really recognize as much as they probably should. Mm-hmm. I agree. I'm actually going Jeff Cobb as well. Did Who won their tag team match? Remember? Oh. I, then I'm going with Jeff Cobb. Yeah. No, no, no. Jeff nope. Cobb won nope. the tag. Then match. I'm going with Ishii. Okay. I just I'm going on a whim because this one's too tough to call. It's gonna be a fucking knockdown drag out brawl. I mean, you look yeah. at and everybody's like, oh, Dean Ambrose in the G1 climax. Do you see who he has to fight yet? Talking about talking about if if Tai Chi loses to Moxley. Tomo- Tomohiro Ishii, he don't play that bullshit. No, he's going to fucking kill him. <laughs> he will knock him the fuck out. And not give a damn. Yep. But I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Ishii. Yeah. Okay. Got it? Um, I'm going Jeff, uh, Jeff Cobb. I like Jeff Cobb. I, I'm not saying I don't like Jeff Cobb. I just don't have to explain yourself. No, I, I I know. Shut up. Jeff Cobb needs to go to <laughs> AEW. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my God! Shut up. I I, I agree. Uh, Heather, I agree. I'm going with Jeff Cobb. All right. Y'all are wrong. 
All right. And the final main <laughs> event match of the night, which they have been telling a pretty good story with these two as well. It's actually uh, Goto versus, is it Goto or Gato? Goto. Goto. Goto versus Jay White. Hiroki Goto versus Jay White. Hiroki Goto. Whatever. <laughs> English next, is the next, not her native the language. The next recording we do, JP's just going to, I'm going to allow him to announce all the names. <laughs> Go with Jay White. Switchblade. I'm actually, I, I'm going Jay White as well. He has face hair now. I... <laughs> I'm gonna go with the rookie. Bob it. Uh I'm 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 going with basement. I'm going with switchblade. <laughs> Alright, so three switchblade so far one go to JP. <sighs> Jay White's boring as fuck. Yeah, I did. I'm going to go with Goto. Okay. All right. And that wraps up night two of Mm -hmm. the G1 Climax. So do you guys want to go ahead and jump into night three, or do you want to do that another night? You can do it now. Because it's it's fucking big. All right. Let's jump in head first then. Fuck it. Night three. First match of the night is... Other tag team match. Yes. Surprise, surprise. JP... (laughs) I'm not gonna lie, JP. Say these names because I have <laughs> They're like young Suji, lions. Yota Toa Hanare, Juice Robinson versus Yuya Uemura. Tama- to- See now, this is where it fucks me up. So, Tomoaki team. Hanma and Hiro- Hiroki Goto okay. in a six-man tag team match. I'm. I'm. I gotta go, Toe. Right, I'm going to go, Toe. Well. Here's the thing. If he doesn't... No, he's going to win. Goto's going to win. He's probably going to lose. <laughs> he's going to win. He's probably going to lose, know. but he's probably going to win. You guys it's also have to re- these tag team matches. Well, you also have to remember that the next... Whoever the main car- like the main wrestler is in these tag team matches are going up against each other the next night in the G1. Yeah. So it will be Juice Robinson versus Hiroki Goto the next night. Which goes, going to win. And then I'm, go- I'm going with Juice. But does then GPW, like, I, I don't watch it as religiously as, like, you guys have. Um, does it do that 50-50 booking type deal? Not, or? Not, not really. really okay. no, it, like, depends. I, it depends. It depends. I mean, that's one of the things that I really like about New Japan because a lot of the times they are very unpredictable in, in their matches. I mean, some of the time you can predict it, but sometimes you just can't. But the other thing, too, is like you have a three-on-three. You can still tell the story to build to the next one-on-one match, and the winner and loser doesn't necessarily matter if someone else is pinning someone else. You know what ooh, I mean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to go on the record right now, and I didn't realize this right away. I'm switching my pick to Goto because uh, Hanari always loses – like the guy, he I, I haven't seen him win a match yet. He won. He won last. He won last week. Toa Hanare did. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know where the fuck I was. Monkey then wrench. I've really never seen him, but I'm I am gonna go with Goto because I I I don't know. It's because they were going up against fucking young lions. The young lions never fucking win ever. Mm-hmm. That's why he won. Well, that explains a lot because, like, when it comes to an actual match that matters, I've never seen him win a match. Okay. No, I I, I agree with you. I'm going to go with Goto. I am going to go with Goto. Okay. For sure. Join me. Basement? Or, excuse me, you already said. I I Goto'd. Yeah. Uh, Bob it? (laughs) Do do Rigato. I'm going with Mr. Roboto Goto. (laughs) All right, Heather? I gotta go Gato. Goto. Okay, we are all going with Goto then. All right, second match of the night. We've got Ren Narita and Jeff Cobb versus Shota Umino and John Moxley. John Moxley. <laughs> oh, this is tough. I'm going because... Ren Narita and Jeff Cobb. Well, you've got, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm with you. I'm I mean, with Jeff you. Cobb all the way. Fucking, fuck Dean Ambrose. 
Not only that, but whenever it is Ren Narita versus Shota Umino, they're both very good, but Ren Narita always wins against Sh- Shoto. Shota. 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 We're going to be wrong on pretty much all of these. Pretty much, I yeah. <laughs> like, I can't even... Like... I watch New Japan, like, religiously, and I still can't even pronounce their fucking names. So, whatever. Right? Uh, you, get tro- you, you have trouble pronouncing a lot of things. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I'm just fucking with it's you. It's my impending stroke, okay? Shut up. <laughs> you got, you got Drake, Drake Maverick mouth? I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, base, basement. You said already. Yeah, I did. Okay, Bob it. What was the match again? Oh, God. <laughs> well, ben Narita have... and Jeff Cobb versus Shota Umino and John Moxley. Oh, I'm going Cobb. Okay. Yeah, Happy? Cobb all the way, man. Minnesota. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Heather. There's no way Cobb is losing to Umino. Or Moxley? Yeah. No, Cobb's not going to lose. The fucking Young Lion's going to be the one to take the Oh, pit. yeah, they Moxley. always they always do. Um, All right, next match. Uh, Yoshihashi, this is a six-man tag. Yoshihashi, surprise, surprise. Toro Yano, <laughs> Tomohiro Ishii versus Chase Owens, Yujiro, Yu, Yu, Yujiro, Taka- Yujiro Takahashi, and Jay White. Ishii. 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 Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, the Bullet Club on this one. I. Ooh. I'm gonna go with JP Bullet Club. Bob it. Bullet Club. Okay, Heather. Ishii. Uh, me and Heather said it at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. I will say the Bullet Club. It's like I'm going with the Bullet Club, and so I mean that you could say that for every match because the fucking Bullet Club is eight thousand members. <laughs> well, you could say that I'm about only, chaos I'm too. Only saying that, I'm only World. saying that because I'm 50, not not really even fifty fifty booking, but the team that Jay White is on or Ishii is on, Ishii will win that match. The following night. Yeah, I'm but right. I mean, not only that, but just the. Uh... Yoshihashi, they, I've been seeing a little bit more out of him lately, but I'm not going to lie. Like, he's still kind of borderline. Like, because I haven't seen haven't, anything. Yeah, it's because they haven't given him a character. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, Toru Yano, I mean, he he's a goof. We, we all know that. But when you, put the, when you put those two, or those three, excuse me, against members of the Bullet Club, it's, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But Okay, anyway, moving on. Fourth match of the night, uh, another six-man tag. It is Bushi Shingo Tak- Takagi. Takagi, thank you. Uh, and Naito versus Kanemaru, Minoru Suzuki, and Tai Chi. Oh. I will get these names down eventually. I will me. say this: if WWE had half of every event they ever did as a six-man tag, and we've seen it. They were fucking crucified by the fan base. Mm-hmm. We're not talking WWE anyway. I know we aren't, but <laughs> like, come on, fucking tag matches galore. Yeah, I know. I'm with you, basement. I I know exactly what you're saying. I'm like you. NJPW is booked so formulaic, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's true. I love New Japan. Shut up. Um, God, asshole. No, I'm kidding. Wait, um, who's actually wrestling? I, I think I was oh just my God. filled with rage. <laughs> All right, basically, we've got LIJ, which is Bushi, Shingo, and Naito versus Kanemaru, Minoru Suzuki, and Taichi of Suzuki Gun. LIJ. Okay. I'm going Suzuki Gun. I, I am going LIJ as well. Okay. Bob it? LIJ. Okay. Heather? I'm gonna go Suzuki Gun. Suzuki Gun number one. All right. I'm sorry, All right. Mark. Now we're we're getting into the A block now. Um, Thirty minute time limit on these matches. We've got Lance Archer versus Bad Luck Fale. Archer. Archer. Agreed. Agreed. Archer. I mean, is it just me or is Bad Luck Fale just basically like the first? 
No, the in between of like black Mexican version of Big Boss Man. Well, he's not black nor Mexican. He's actually an Islander, but I can. Okay, see so I guess he's the Islander version of Big Boss Man. Yeah, he, I mean, he can wrestle. He's not. He's not great. But like I said, the reason that he's in New Japan is because the only reason that he is in this is because he has a dojo. I'm going with Archer. Right, it's just the Archer is... Archer I, fucking just annihilated the other night. And yes. not just the other night, but like he's anytime he's out there, he's just annihilating everybody in his fucking bath. His arrogance and his size also cost him a lot, too. Like, he... He'll beat the living shit out of somebody, but he'll wear himself out quickly. Too. Well, I think that I, I think that we saw a little bit of that when with Will Osprey the other night because um, his arrogance, especially because like the, there were certain points where his arrogance started getting the the, uh, the his arrogance started getting too much, and then Will Osprey was able to capitalize on that. I must pee. Okay, Bob, it. <laughs> who you got? Oh. <laughs> Archer, a.k.a. Chief Chief Strongbow. All right. So I think everybody picked Archer in that one. Yeah. All right, so then we got Will Osprey versus Sonata. This is a tough one. Mm-hmm. I think this this is probably match of the night. Mm, no. Well, take that back because i just seen the next one on the card. No, that's not even match of the night either. The main event will be the match of the night. Uh... <clears throat> I don't Will Ospreay is, he's not going to win the G1 but he's going to be right close to it I I, I don't want I, he, that, I don't think they'll have him go 0-2 but they might this one's tough because Sonata that look like they're doing something with him but they're doing something with Ospreay too which one are they pushing harder to me it seems like they're pushing Ospreay a little harder then I'm going to go with Sonata. Okay. And the reason that I say that is Osprey can take a loss and still get that push. Right. If that's the logic you're going with. All right. Bobby, what do you think? I'm going to go with William Oceansbury. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm going Osprey too. Heather? I'm going to go Sonata to go against the green. Okay. And basement, we've. Are you back? I'm back. I'm okay, going we've... with Osprey. Didn't he just like solidify himself as like a mainstay in NJPW by like buying a house there and all that? Uh, fucking yes, he did, and he also yeah. just won the best of the Super Juniors. Yep, he's he's my choice. And okay. the other fucking Sonata's Asian Yeti. <laughs> Oh, like I, it's not, I can't just be me though. Like this guy's got a lot of fucking hair. Like his hair is just he's, it's ridiculous. Too much hair. Like he, he's, too it's, much hair. he's so like his hair is so thick. Looks like a little rug on his head. But anyways, and all his, right. His like face hair is like super wild too. The next one, I have no idea what I'm gonna choose, but it is my two favorites: Kazuchika Okada versus Zack Saber Jr. You know, this, you know, so fucking I, I easy. It's Okada. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there is no, absolutely in no way, shape, or form Zack Sabre Jr. should ever beat Kazichika Okada. Ever. I 100% agree. I also feel like Zack Sabre Jr. shouldn't ever win again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that just because Gina's her favorite. It's one of Gina's favorites. I, Zach Saber Jr., he looks like a fucking ferret crawling on people. <laughs> that would have went more like a spider, but... Like, you, you've got the best in the business versus, I guess, the best technical wrestler out there. Still, the best in the business always wins, man. Yep, should always win. All right, Bob it. You know what? Screw you both. I'm, I believe in Gina. I'm going to go with... Uh... That 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 Sabral guy. <laughs> that table guy. God, you're killing me, Bobbit. Oh God, Heather. I'm going Okada. Um. All right. I. Oh fuck my life. Um. It's not that hard, Gina. It's uh, 
I'm going against the grain. I'm going Zack Sabre Jr. It's early in the tournament. It is early in the tournament, and I do believe, even though in a regular match, I do believe that Okada would take it. I don't think that they're going to allow Zack Sabre Jr. to look weak by going 0-2. So this I... is a regular match. Look weak? I mean, I think he accomplished that by himself. I mean, you shut up. <laughs> Next match. <laughs> you know what, though, Zack Sabre Jr., you know the Fantastic Four? He is Reed Richards. Oh, my God, I hate you. I hate you right now. Um, Stringy-armed son of a bitch. All right, next match. (laughs) Fucking asshole. Kota Ibushi versus Evil. Kota Ibushi. Agreed. Yeah, there's no way. Kota Ibushi is, in my opinion, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Evil's good, don't get me wrong. It's just Kota Ibushi is just way too good to not take it. And not only that, but he's been getting a push, so... Um, Bob it? Uh, Abushi. Okay. Heather? Abushi. All right. And the final match of the night, which is another tough one, it's uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Kenta. <coughs> Kenta, Kenta, Kenta. It'll be, it'll be Kenta. I would say yes. I'm, I'm going with Kenta as well. Bob it? I'm going with the hand tie guy. That... Kenta. Kentai guy. Kenta. He's going with Kenta. Kentai guy. All right. All right. So that wraps up night three. We go on night four. I might as well go night four, too, because I think that that's Monday or, or Tuesday morning, something like that. So this is it, and then I promise we'll be done. All right. First match of the night Shota Umino versus Jushin Thunder Liger. Or excuse me. Shota Umino, Jushin Thunder Liger, and Kota Bushi versus. Yuya Umara, blah, blah, blah. Yui Mara. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, fucking Suji. I, Suji and Will Osprey. Okay, I can't. Um, they, uh, they got two young lions versus one young lion. I'm going to go with Ibushi and Jushin, their team. There is no way that. They are gonna let Jushin Thunder Liger freaking lose to to a team with two young lions on it. That's, that's there's no I, that's way. I'm yeah. saying that. Yeah. So I'm a grand. Same. Bob it. Same, Margaret. Heather. Jushin. All right. Second match: uh, Ren Narita, Toa Hinare, and Honma. Hon, Honma. It's actually Honma. Thank Whatever. You. Versus Bushi, Sonata, and Evil. Yeah, fucker, I got to a cracker. Fuck, I can't talk. (laughs) 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 Oh, I hate myself right now. All right. The macho man quit. Yep. Go ahead. All right, so who we got? Uh, This might be the downfall here. It's. I think it's going to be... Uh, Hanare and ha- um, um, uh, whatever the fuck you want to call him and Narita um, uh. and because Evil's going to walk out on uh, Sonata and Bushi mm. uh, I'm going to agree I'm going with um, uh, balipatop, ba-do-ba, balipatop. <laughs> no 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 basement you know who this oh. guy is he's the one that comes out with like the fucking bee mask remember yeah I know yeah <laughs> um god I'm going to go L.I.J. just simply because I can't stand fucking half of that other team. Bob it. I'm all with the Dorito guy. Okay. What? I don't know what that means. N.A. Not applicable. The the first one, you know, the one that that nobody can't can't pronounce half right. Oh, Honma? Yeah. Okay. Cool Ranch Doritos. All right. And Heather? Honma. Okay. All right, what the fuck? We got a four on four now. Yeah, All right. it's, it's it's an eight man tag match. All Red right, so we got Connors, Kenta, and Tanahashi versus Kanemaru, Suzuki, Archer, and Saber Junior. I know who Gina's fucking picking. Yeah. I'm... Actually, no, I'm going with Kenta and Tanahashi. Okay, that's a fucking first. Anyway, same, same 100%. Zack Saber Junior. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I just realized that they have Minoru Suzuki, Lance Archer, and Zack Sabre Jr. on that team, so I'm changing mine. I'm going 
Suzuki Goon number one bet. Uh, just for that, I think Fredericks is going to pin Zach Saber Jr. Yep. Zach Saber Jr. Is that what you just said? Zach Saber Jr. Saber Jr. Just because Zach Saber Jr. just needs to go crawl in a lift and go home to Britain. Oh God! All right, he's so he hit with like a meteor from outer space. <laughs> But I, I, in all seriousness, seriousness, I think it's going to be Suzuki Gun. They're going to win. Okay, Bob it. I'm going to go with the Sable Two Tiger, the Zack Saber Junior team. Okay, and Basement, you said Kenta, right? Yeah. Okay, and Heather. Kenta. Okay. All right, next one we've got Yoshihashi and Kazuchika Okada versus Chase Owens and Bad Luck Fale. This isn't even a fucking even contest. Have to Come ask. on. Yeah, Come it's on. Okada it's for life. Fucking Okada. Yeah. Bob, it, you agree? Yeah. Okay, and I assume Heather agrees as well. Uh, of course. All right. All right, now we're getting into the back. I'm sorry? I ain't stupid. <laughs> exactly. I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, now we're getting back into the B block. We've got uh, Yano versus Shingo. This is hands down. Shingles. I mean, come on. Yano. <laughs> oh God, no! This is gonna be Shingo. It is. Oh. He's gonna win. Shingo's gonna win. All right, Bob it. Shindingo. Oh my God. And Heather Unigrants. Bingo, Shingo. Bingo, Shingo. All right, basement. You said yours, right, Shingo? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, next one: Juice Robinson versus Hiroki Goto. I think this might be the first time Juice wins. I think so. Yeah, the Juice is loose. I mean, I agree. I think Juice is taking this one. Bob it? I'm going go to go Okay. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got Jeff Cobb versus John Moxley. This one is probably the toughest of all of them, I think. I disagree. It's going to be Jeff Cobb. We got Dean Ambrose. We got Dean Ambrose. I don't fuck yeah, he's gonna pull his punches and then Jeff Cobb's gonna squash him. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. If he isn't woken up by by the time he wrestles against fucking Jeff Cobb. Tai Chi. Oh yep. Then there ain't no saving him. There's no saving fucking Dean Ambrose. I'm going with Dean Ambrose. I'm gonna go with Dean Ambrose, but I'm sticking with Jeff Cobb. Okay. Bob it. I'm going Jeff Corn on the cob. <laughs> All right. Then we got uh, Tomohiro Ishii versus Jay White. Jay White. As much as it pains me to say, yeah, Jay White, even though I think Ishii would fucking obliterate this guy or should, but whatever. He's old as fuck. Go, I'm actually going to go Ishii. He's actually he's younger than me. Yeah, he just is fused everywhere. Yeah, his whole body is just connected. I'm gonna go with Gigi. I'm going uh, Ishii. Okay, Heather. Yeah, I want to go Ishii. Okay, and our last and final match for the next three days is Naito versus Tai Chi. Too easy, Naito. I told you, Naito's winning this block. You know what, man? I'm actually gonna go with Final Fantasy. I'm going Naito. Bob it. I'm going with uh, Naito's nachos. God and Heather. I'm going to go Naito. All right. Here's Malone. Whatever. Five minutes for life. All right. That wraps up uh, night two, three, and four of the G1. We will be back next week with the rest of the whatever nights we have that week. I don't even know how many there are this next week. But anyway, yeah, question, though, there's like, a lot. But... <laughs> what what does the loser of all of our bets have to do? I mean, we're doing that. Eat a soft taco. I oh mean, wait, never gonna happen, JP. I mean, <laughs> seriously, the last time that we did that, you drank pickle juice and ended up in the hospital for like right. five, six months. <laughs> I'm willing, I'm willing and able. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I feel like there's got to be something. I mean, we could we could parking lot this and get back to it later yeah 
Okay, we will yeah. parking lot this and we will talk about it and get back to it later. But we will be back next week with more predictions. Uh, we will have a review show coming up at some point in time whenever we get some time. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys for listening to me murdering fucking words and names tonight. And we will see you guys later. Bye.